Alright, ladies and gents, welcome back to the channel. Dude, Blake, is that, is that a Ford Ranger, dude? Yep. Is that a Ford it's, Ranger? It's dude? a Ford Ranger. Wow, dude. Yeah. Dude, what happened? I don't know, it's kind of missing. Kind of like the. Dude, uh, dude, what happened? Yeah, I know, I know. Something's, something's not. Something's not right. What happened? We send it a little too hard, eh? I gotta show you my, my, uh, my last mod. Oh, what's your yeah, last, last mod? mod? What's the you? last the, mod? The passenger seat. Check it out. Check this on the out. dashboard. What do you think, dude? You like that? Right there. I told you how the letters. Came out so sick. <laughs> so <sad. laughs> PA systems going on first and foremost. Wiring kit right here. The uh, slim speaker, little control module. So we have radio, standby, Yelp, whale, high, low, high two. And then a volume knob right there, horn and siren. Alrighty, so the first thing I'm gonna do is try to find a place to actually mount this thing up. So we're gonna peek up in here and see where we can put it. It's looking like this might be the best bar right here. Let's see if we can put it in and mount it on. That spot would be perfect right there. You can see right through the grill too. <laughs> No, it wasn't me. <laughs> one, two, three, four, five, six wires. So there's two green ones. The green ones are gonna go into the actual speaker that's mounted in the engine bay. And that's what communicates with the speaker. The black wire goes to ground. I have them all wrapped up in electric tape to feed it through the firewall more easily from the inside of the truck. Firewall is right here, not too far up, but it's a lot easier to feed it into the cab of the truck from the engine bay. There we have the uh, the plug that we need to go into the control box, which will mount uh, probably somewhere right around here. So yeah, that's all we need right there. We're good to go. All right, so Blake's pulled the uh, the blue and the yellow wire back through the cab of the truck. We're gonna cut these things off because we're not gonna be using anything additional aside from what the PA comes with. So we'll just chop these off to make things a little more organized. I'm gonna take this tape right here and create a template with it so I know where to drill the holes for the, uh, the speaker. Now we'll throw down our template so we know exactly where to drill the holes to mount this up to. All right guys, we have the speaker bolted down and now we just have these two little green wires to feed to those green wires right there. Then we'll feed it to the battery, the red wire to the battery, and then ground it as well. And then we'll work on the interior. Green wires are connected to the speaker, so we're gonna um, zip tie these all up on the, everywhere we can to get it out of the way. And then instead of wiring the power to the battery, there's a fuse box right here. So I only want the um, I only want the PA system to have power when the truck's actually on. So we'll tap into a fuse, probably the horn or something like that, right? We'll find a fuse that only activates when the truck's actually on. And that way we can say bye-bye to like 80% of the wiring too. So we'll just feed it right from the firewall in the fuse box. Find some zip ties, zip tie these suckers up out of the way, connect that red wire, ground it, and then we'll hop on the inside of the truck and Install the control box. So we got us one of them uh, test lots, test meat or right there. Two are live. These two are live, yeah. Mm -hmm. Those two are not live. But now let's turn the truck on and see if they are live. We got two of them that have power now, the ignition's on. That's the one we want to tap into, mate. We'll figure out what these two 15s are for. I may not be able to count, mate, but I can definitely find a lot of fuse. What are those two for right there that we The two 15 the amps in here are for this electronic fuel injection number four and ECT number one, which is uh, engine coolant temp. Coolant temp, yeah. And then there's another so temperature one. temperature sensor fuse, and then on this here? side, uh, if your truck is optional with this, right here it says S slash HTR R slash R. That's a seat heater yeah. for the right for rear, right rear, which is also 15. I don't have those either, so no, do we have I mean, a fuse for it? There is no fuse for it. I'm sure oh. you could use it. I don't know if it's gonna be plumbed. Like, I don't think it'll. Harness, I don't think it'll throw power to it though. Uh, if the, I don't have the option, 
Yeah. Just because there's no fuse there, I don't think we Possibly. can put a fuse there and get so. power. But see if there's power. Yeah, I mean. Get in there and see. Right, yeah. Which yeah. one's the truck on first? Oh, it's got power. Yeah, so if you don't have seat heaters in your truck from factory, the fuse outlets the are fuse still, still power. alive. Nice. So you can technically still use them. Okay, so that's our power. safest route right there. Let's tap into the uh, the seat heater so, for the rear. So it's, it's or below a 20. Whichever one, doesn't matter, I guess. Seven and a half, so cool. Just... We'll tap into that guy right there then. The fuse tap in the fuse location for the right rear heat seater, right? Right, uh, right rear. Yeah. It's either the right rear or the left rear. And we have two fuses in there. So the actual um, control box. Oh, you have it? Yeah, we're going to test it right now. This guy has a, has a 30, uh, 30 amp fuse in there, right? Yeah, it's a 30 amp. So we threw a 30 amp in the fuse tap to feed it 30 amps of power. So there we have it. And we should be good to go. By the way, dude, G-Shock game on point, bro. Yeah, Yours is freaking sick, though. Black With the gold, gold face on it? Yeah. That's so. I'm rich. I'm rich. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna run up the power to it and see if it works. And then hold the ground up too and make sure we got some power with our little uh, fuse tap, dude. Ah. Alrighty, so our test run was a great success. So now we're just gonna kind of clamp everything down, tuck all the wires up to the side here, utilizing, dude, zip ties are life. I feel like zip ties are just underrated, dude. Their, their, their power, what they can do. If you don't have them, then I don't know what you're I don't know doing. what you're doing, dude, yeah, for real. But anyways, guys, we're gonna zip tie everything up to the side here, clean up all the wiring real good, get rid of some of the, uh, let's cut some of the red off before we actually yeah. button it down to the uh, fuse box there. Just to get rid of some of that play. Will the fuse box cover close now with I mean, the fuse top in there? The fuse box cover will definitely close. Oh, boom. 100%. Nice. But is it going to... Well, it's going to open can now? I, can I open it? There's three um, releases. I knew, I knew that. Oh, did you? <laughs> I did. Is it a pretty tight fit? I knew that after you told me. No. <laughs> I knew that after you told me. You still get half credit. Yeah. No, you should be fine. I mean, these wires are all, they're all pretty tall. Oh, so dude, you that, have sits, plenty that of... sits way lower than the yeah. rest of the stuff. The only like thing the, I think that you're going to have to deal with sit taller. is running a wire into the actual box. Well, there should, be a, there should be a shoot, right? Oh, uh, not on this one. Okay, honestly, it's such a small wire. Just kind of, you know, crimp it down on the side. We'll close it on it. It's not a big deal. In the future, we'll work on something better, but we'll probably end up running it through the back. This is a this is a, a temporary permanent fix, so we should be all right. Technically, how you're supposed to do it, or so I've been told, this was the correct way to use electric tape. Yeah, you're gonna take your first. Oh, okay, they ignore that tool, and you take it and you pull it back and you wrap it around like so, and then you get a really tight weave. That sounds like the normal way to use. Oh, you mean don't pull it off the, the roll first? You do not pull it off the oh, roll. Oh, okay, to get it tighter. Yeah. Oh, that makes sense. But here knows what plumber's tape is, but you're supposed to wrap it backwards like this also, so that when you go to thread it on, it pulls it with the threads rather than pulling up the tape. Good to know. Yeah. Blake, yeah, Blake, I'm also the, a plumber. Blake the handyman. I'm also a plumber. Hit me up. I'll clean your pipes. <laughs> oh, jeez. That's why I'm tight right there. Good job, my guy. Super, super clean, dude. Look at that. He's right listening to Mark. It's his catchphrase. Everything is super, super clean. clean dude. You're not wrong. All right, perfect. Good okay, we're all wired up. It's grounded. We got a little bit of a situation here. So it's supposed to be like a candle-shaped, like bracket that mounts the control box inside the truck, and it screws right into here. And then that's how you mount it up. And I don't have that, so I'm. Pretty sure I misplaced it because I opened the box like a year ago or like almost a year ago. So I'm not too sure where it's at right now, but I don't know, dude. I'm pretty sure it's not in. Do we uh, use a bunch of zip ties? <clears throat> uh, what do we do? We could use like a lot of super glue, crazy glue, crazy glue. Elmer's glue. Looking real pretty. I was about to say, boy, if this don't work, I don't even want this truck no more. I'm about to give me God's creation and give me a Tesla. Trade this thing in for a. Oh, look at that. Let it go. Yeah. Oh, buddy. Oh, my God. Now I feel like I can't drive, though. Let's see. Drive the sucker around. Hop up in your truck and show me how you drive. Yeah, you drive that close? I think that works, dude. I think you need to scoot your seat no, back no, forward no, no, no. a little bit. Get uh, out of here with pull that. this lever, Stop bro. Stop complaining, man. No. 
That's good. That's good right there. Let me see how you look in there, dude. Anybody ever told you that you look terrible in your job? <laughs> All the time. What is that, bro? That's a mess. Damn. You want to see how I drive? Open, yeah. it, open the door. There's like, I'm like really trying. There's almost no play. I can give him another little, <sighs> a little cinematic shot on him. I dude. think so. That's beautiful. Might actually. have to break out the gimbal. That's actually beautiful. What's your Yelp setting? What's that? What does that do? Yelp, Yelp. Uh, I believe it's you a Yelp review at your favorite good. restaurant. How y'all doing? <laughs> Pretty good. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Bam, just like that. So now everything's all zip tied up out of the way. Didn't want to see that green wire through the grill. So we're looking good. Tucked all the wires up on the side. Can't even see the red wire coming out the fuse box. So straight into the firewall right there. Hop on the inside and check it out. Dang, son. Super, super check legit Check that out, look at this. The zip tie, special. But it's legit though, dude. It's, it's, it's not going anywhere. Dude, is he really gonna make me do this? Oh, yeah! I appreciate that. Thank you, kind sir. <laughs> hey, don't look at me in that tone of voice. Dude, who's this guy talking to? Like, right. Hey. Yo. Yo. <laughs> oh, this is legendary. So, check this out. Dude, honestly, I'm not I'm not gonna even tie this thing up, dude. I'm not getting a bracket. This is super stationary. My OBD2 is still fully exposed. The hood latch is right here out of the way. Everything's out of the way, dude. This is perfect. So, this is it. And then I'll throw the microphone over the steering column and just let it dangle right there on the right side, dude. It's perfect. Nothing's in the way. This setup's amazing. You wanna try it? Yeah, let's try it. Turn the truck on, yeah. Oh, I have the keys, don't I? My bad. My bad, homie. There you go. All right, it's on full crank, so talk to him. I'm going to wrap you over with your own truck. <laughs> I might just steal this thing. Oh, my gosh, dude. That's loud. No way. <laughs> no way. I'm having way too much fun in this thing. Oh, this thing's dangerous. Oh man, dude, that thing's loud. Try the other settings too. Oh, what? Wow, that's the Yelp, I think, right there. That's obnoxious. <laughs> wow. You're gonna get in trouble. That's yeah. That's pretty. That's pretty wild, right there, dude. All right, hold on. Pause for a second. Pause for a second. So there is a speaker right there. Do not say a word, please. So there it is right there. I might end up painting it black pretty soon to get it like a little more sort of inconspicuous. But dang, dude, that's loud. loud. That's loud right there. Talk into it again. Talk into it like closer and louder. You want me to talk into it like this? Oh my goodness. Yeah, that was louder for sure. How extra am I right now? <laughs> that's loud right there, my guy. It's, uh, it's pretty clear too. It's really clear, yeah. Yeah, so this one is uh, 130 decibel. That's pretty dang loud for a PA. Dude, that's loud, bro. It's kind of crazy when you're in there, it doesn't seem that loud no, because it's projecting It's projecting this way. But when you're in front of it, dude, what the heck, dude? Oh man, I can't wait. This is gonna be the perfect addition to my Overland build. Wait, what? Overland build is kind of what I'm going for. Um, go do some fun trips, you know, some camping trips and Go to the beach. Land our way all the way there. So, <laughs> right, right there. Just right there, right there. Right there. Just a mile from home. Yeah. And we're gonna drive right there in the sticks. So, yeah, that's the plan for uh, this truck right here. It's a little bit different. I'm kind of new to the Overland world, um, so I'm kind of getting into it, learning more as I go. But that's what's going down pretty dang soon. And the PA system right here is gonna be the perfect addition to some off-road shenanigans. All right, well, I'm out of here now. Well, I guess I'm walking.